Hey everyone, it's Candice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a first impressions slash wear test for the new Fenty Powder Foundation. As always, if you are new here, take a moment to click the subscribe button or watch a couple of minutes and then click the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. If you are returning, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and share this with your friends if you know someone who would be interested in this video. If for some reason you're unhappy with my take on first impressions and you think I've left something out or you think my makeup skills are bad or you're just like, what is this girl doing? No worries, just exit out the browser that you entered, troll free zone. Very quick intro before we get started. I am super excited about this product because I'm someone who actually really likes powder foundation. Um, a couple of years ago, I got into powder foundation because I was working outdoors in the Southeast in the middle of summer, things were very hot. Obviously you might think, you know, just a little concealer, mascara and go, which I typically like to do. Um, but some days um, I wanted to look a little bit more put together. Or if I was having a bad skin day, um, I actually wanted to use foundation. And I typically use my liquid foundation from ColourPop. Um, and it's nice, but like being in the sun all day long, in the middle of the heat, um, I just always kind of felt like my face was melting. I also would get like certain creasing around my smile lines. That could have just been my makeup skills at the time. Um, it could have just been the foundation that I was choosing to use um, in those conditions. So there's a lot of factors to that, but overall that experience made me feel like I wish I could, you know, look put together without having to use liquids all the time. And that's what really drew me to powder foundation. The first one I tried was the Black Radiance Powder Foundation, which was really nice. I'll pop up some selfies for you. Um, I thought it went on very well. It was a loose powder foundation. My only um, kind of like problem with it is that there's only like two shades basically. So you kind of have to mix to customize your shade, which is fine, but it's just too much work to have to do that all the time. Um, and then a lot of other powder foundations that I saw that were rated well, um, just really cost a lot. They're like in the forties and fifties. Um, so that was like kind of my thing. Other drugstore powder foundations are nice, but they just did not have the shade range. So I never totally felt like I had my color. Um, so that's why you just don't see me talking about powder foundations a lot. But I love the concept of them and I think they're really great if you're someone who maybe wants to travel and you're afraid of liquid spilling out. Maybe you're someone who likes to avoid checking a bag at all costs like I do and you're flying and you want to leave more room in your 311 bag and you don't want to fill it up with um, liquid makeup products all the time. Powder foundations are great for all of those things. Um, and like I said, especially, especially in the summertime. Me being someone who has dry skin, kind of combo, but on the dry side, um, you might feel like you should stay away from powder foundations if your skin is dry, but honestly, if you're prepping your skin well, um, you really don't have to worry about that. Um, and like I said in the summer, I think powder foundations are a godsend. So when I saw that Fenty was um, releasing their own, I was super excited because their products always work well, and I'm like, if they've done powder foundation and it's in all the same shades, then I know that this is one that um, will probably be my new go-to. So super excited to try it. As you can see, I'm wearing it right now. So let's dive in to the application. So I have already moisturized my skin. I'm going to put the, um, the products that I use in the description box so that you can see them. But I've already moisturized and that's really important especially when you're working with a powder foundation and you have like dry to combination skin like I do. Um, and then you're going to apply your primer as normal. Some people like to use the hydrating primer because they're using powder products. Other people like to use uh, mattifying primers because they want everything to remain smooth. Also, FYI, yes, I have lost a nail before anyone comments. Moving on. You have a couple of options when it comes to, um, what's the word I'm looking for, concealing. Um, you should always, if you're going to be using any type of 
um, liquid product that should be going underneath the powder. You don't want to be putting on powder foundation and then liquid over top. So that means anything that we want to conceal, we're going to conceal first. Um, so we can go normal like old school liquid found uh, liquid concealers. We can also go cream concealers like using our matchsticks. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of both. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of my cream uh, liquid concealer for just like the normal areas of my skin that I want to work on and then I'm going to do a combination underneath so let me first just kind of buff those areas out all right so we just kind of have those areas out of the way that's awesome so the second thing we want to do is a little bit of color correction. I have some brand new color correctors from uh, Black Radiance, but I'm going to use the salmon colored one today just because it has that redness to it, but not quite as much as that orange one that I've been using a lot. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of this light to medium. Things are looking well here. I'm actually going to take um, a little bit of my cream concealer here. This is the Matchsticks in Wheat. And I'm going to go straight in. This is kind of acting as like a brightening concealer. That's good. I'm going to put just a little teeny bit of banana powder in my under eye to set this. Okay, so we are ready for foundation. Alright, so this is our powder foundation. in the color 330. We flip this up. We've got our sponge in here. Someone's playing the piano. Hopefully you all don't hear that in the mic. Um, so we have the option of using the sponge as well as the brush. Fenty recommends that a brush gives you light coverage and the sponge gives you medium to full coverage. I kind of want the medium coverage, but I'm going to start with the brush today just to kind of see how it works on this side and then we'll do the sponge on that side. So I'm definitely seeing coverage, but it is a fairly light, um, but it's coming through. So let's see what the sponge looks like on this side. Okay. So let's reflect on what things look like in this first lighting. So I don't know if you can see it. Um, things don't look bad. I definitely think I'm getting fuller, a little fuller coverage on the sponge, which I would expect because it's picking up more product and kind of like packing it directly in. Just in natural lighting, it is looking pretty good. I'm going to give you all um, a look at what I'm using, like my camera. So I'm going to tell you, show you what my phone is looking like right now. Um, I'm going to fluff over it a little bit more with my. Okay, so I have finished 
applying my foundation. I feel pretty good about it. Um, yeah, I feel good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my face off camera and then we'll pop back and see what the finished look is like. Okay, so I have completed my makeup look. Um, so I like the application of it. Um, like I said, like in person, it looks really good. Um, I definitely did not apply it in full coverage of any point um, because like you can still see my freckles and like my moles through here which is fine like I said I think that um, you know if you're looking for kind of that skin breathing through within look um, this is perfect for that um, again all makeup is you know like buildable so I'm pretty sure you can just like keep building up if you want it like super full coverage or you could go more in depth with like concealer underneath it but otherwise um, I like the application um, I think I would probably keep doing the brush just because I like the brush better I I feel like I'm losing product just like packing in with the sponge um, but I definitely think this is perfect for you know taking with you and you know the sponge is really good for touch-ups but that's just me in particular I do not feel like I am cakey or dry so I think that's really good. Some powder foundations really dry you out. We'll see what things are like when we come back later in the day and I've worn the foundation for a while. Um, you can always put like mists um, and things on your face if you're feeling extra dry. Um, but I don't think like this is going to dry me out. It looks like there's a huge difference on the screen between my skin and my neck. Um, looking in a real mirror, um, looking in a mirror here, looking in my phone, it only looks like there's a slight difference and obviously I did not bring my foundation down my neck as I typically would um, so that's also probably why that's kind of looking a little different I have not been in the Sun so I'm a little lighter than I typically would be um, but otherwise first impressions I think this is a really good product I think this is great because obviously we have all of our shades um, and it's less expensive than a lot of other high-end powder foundations um, and I do think it covers well than some of the drugstore powder foundations that I've used. So we will come back in the evening and um, see what the wear test is like. Hey we're back so it is about six o'clock. Um, I've had that means I've had this on almost eight hours about seven hours. Um, I didn't do much <laughs> I was really just kind of like on the computer most of the day and I ran out to the store so um, I was not like in Sun or bad conditions it's like winter time but you get to see that for the most part things are good um, I have not creased um, with the powder foundation which is nice um, there's a little bit of reflection from the light um, but um, my forehead's not greasy, but like I could blot in a couple of areas. So I think that's a really good signal that um, it obviously didn't dry me out. Um, I'm not as shiny as I would be probably if I had a normal foundation on. But um, I think it's really got this nice kind of glow to it. Didn't crease, didn't cake up, didn't dry me out, didn't do anything wacky or weird. I look the same um, as I always would and it wore really well throughout the day. So that is it, the wear test and first impressions video for the new Fenty powder foundation. If you have any questions, please don't forget to drop them in the comments. Leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.